Hello everybody, so uh, a trailer, a new trailer for The New Mutants dropped this morning. Now, The New Mutants is one of those movies that has had a rough history, to say the least. It was initially supposed to come out April of 2018, then it got pushed back to August of 2019. It's been once again, and hopefully for the last time, pushed back to a release date of April 2020. So I figured I'd give this trailer a watch, and react to it, as well as stop and starting and reviewing it. A react view, if you will. So without further ado, uh, let's get this started. What's the last thing you remember, Danny? Oh jeez, that's... that's terrifying. <laughs> Alright, lots of carnage, an interesting start, and we got a bit of a hospital setting. It's because you're a very uncommon girl. Definitely not the type of place you would want to send your kids to. I thought it was a dream. I just lost control. I started panicking. People got hurt. My girlfriend had burned her. What I like so far is that they're not actually showing their powers, they're just showing the effects that happened. They thought it was a dream. They just started panicking. They did something that they had no control over. Interesting. I killed 18 men, one by one. And then there's the one person who actually knows what they're doing and decides to describe it in detail. Hopefully this movie's better than the Nostalgia Critics review of The Wall. It's important we find out your power, so we can help you get better. Okay, so a hospital that's supposed to cure people of superpowers. Why does this remind me of glass? Not that I have a problem with glass, I actually enjoyed it, but the overall consensus for that movie was not good. Hopefully this doesn't go down the same path as Dark Phoenix. I saw something. I don't think she wanted me to see. Rule number four of being a superpowered being admitted to a hospital. You will always see something that the doctor didn't want you to see. Wow, the crossover with Venom is happening a lot sooner than I expected. I don't think we're here to get better. You think? This place takes your greatest fear and makes you live through it until it kills you. So basically it's like Room 101 from 1984. They lock you in some place and they present their greatest fear in front of you to either give up or it kills you. Together. So they're going to be teaming up against some supernatural spider demon thingy with red flares. I can't help but wonder if this was supposed to tie into Dark Phoenix in some way. I'm just saying, I don't know if it's supposed to be part of that same universe, but if it is, then the signs are there. And of course there's that song that's going to be associated with this movie. Once again, I'm just hoping that it's better than a Stouger Critics review of The Wall. Okay, that definitely left from horror to action sci-fi, but... Uh... It's X-Men, what do you expect? But yeah, it's nice that we finally got another trailer, and more importantly, we have one that has a release date. And more importantly, what we end up seeing on screen will be the version that the director wants. I guess 20th Century Fox learned their lesson with fan four stick and Dark Phoenix. You don't interfere with the director's work. Call me crazy, but I'm more interested in seeing this movie than the next James Bond. Now granted, looking forward to something and being interested in seeing a movie don't necessarily mean the same thing. I'm looking forward, I'm excited for Black Widow and Wonder Woman 1984, but I'm interested in seeing The Many Saints of Newark and Dune. I do have an interest in No Time to Die, but I'd say that's more on the looking forward than the simply interested in. These movies over here make you go, wow, I gotta see them. And these movies over here make you go, huh. I'll have to check that out. I just hope this was well worth the wait. I know I said in my Dark Phoenix review that that was the last X-Men movie, but with New Mutants, I think they could pull a mulligan. They could sort of redo their ending to the franchise. Again, I just hope it was worth the wait. 
Anyways, those are my thoughts on the new Mutants trailer. I'm interested in what other people think, so feel free to leave a comment down below. And, uh, that's all there is to it.